Bizo, how are you? I'm great, did how you, are you? Good, good. Did you attend Afro Africa Zimbabwe? Yes, I attended today on the 6th uh, Tuesday. Uh, did you enjoy it? I actually enjoyed the whole session. You were a team leader too? Yes, I actually was chosen to be the team leader of this oh. uh, session, the group one session. What did you get from the, from the, from the meeting today, from the brainstorming sessions? Uh, the most appropriate thing I got is about uh, how exactly technology can, used, can be used to harness uh, challenges of climate change, especially uh, things that, that have to do with uh, applications, especially mobile applications, technological applications, and desktop applications, radio applications, and um, yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly one of the most informative uh, areas. That's fantastic. You mentioned earlier when you were uh, when when you were there, you talked about you know how we can really use information to educate people in Zimbabwe. Yes. Do you think this is very important right now to educate people? Yeah, uh, the most uh, most the most uh, pertinent or the most critical issue is actually to really educate people and give them information and how to solve their problems, especially in areas where we find uh, the uh, situations wanting. Mm. Especially climate change that actually results in a lot of answers. Especially agriculture issues. Yeah, agriculture you mentioned issues. about agriculture yes. issues. Uh, where we get a lot of uh, that is actually affected by climate change in areas of deforestation, areas yeah. of uh, um, weather patterns changing, areas of irritation, soil erosion, areas of um, droughts, and areas of floods and other things like that that affects agriculture, and areas of lack of both so that to what we call proper agricultural or climate change policy. Yeah, I think that that's, that's very important. So, but you mentioned earlier that radio probably will be the best way of informing people uh, and also creating quizzes. That was fantastic, you know, to have a, a, an application, a quiz application. That's a fantastic idea to, you know, probably to use the quiz to educate people and, and talk about climate change issues. Do you think, do you think that can be done? Uh, yeah, those are, those are actually traditional issues mm -hmm. and those are issues that, near the, that are near the people. Mm -hmm. Competitions and quizzes that way people, even when people were growing, farmers when they were growing, they use those issues. Mm -hmm. I think those are knowledge based systems or information dissemination systems that actually society might, might also harness to really reach out to each other. They are very interactive and they are very uh, they are good learning processes and they are information exchange processes. Do you think we can find a winner in Zimbabwe? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I think, uh, you know, I think I wish you all the best. I'm, I'm sure we're going to find a winner. Thank you for coming for Afro Africa. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you.